don't think this is going to make the happy client video. I think it's another one of those. Oh, the duck work just landed right on us, Bob. Bob Marshall's back. And um, how do we say this video? This is really this is one of the most awkward videos I've ever shot out of 20. We got a fan on us. Let's walk over here a little bit, Bob, if you don't mind. Here, well, let's, Man, keep, let's, keep your, let's keep your beauty behind us. Start again? No, I just, I just keep going. It's all natural nowadays. I don't, oh, do, I I don't do much editing. Um, I built a car for Bob. This beautiful GT that's sitting very high right now. Why? Because her block is not in her. We hired somebody that we had good experience with. I trusted him. Bob trusted him because of me trusting him. Plus, he saw my video. And I think he was losing it. I think I think we just had, he was just getting older, not losing it. He was just getting older. He was still had a good intent. He was doing the best job he could. Talking about us old people. Yeah, <laughs> he's older than you though. Wheels is older. <laughs> wow, this is definitely a fine line video. Um, but in short, the piston rod walked. It created a groove. On eight and six, thank you for pointing that out, Bob. On eight and six, it started to walk on six, didn't damage it heavily, but eight was shocking that she had compression. Bob did a compression test for us, and we, we coached him through it and did a great compression test. 90, it almost did 90, right? Yeah. It did 90, it did 90. It did 90 PSI with the piston rod, like running up and down in the cylinder wall, on the back, on number eight. So I saw this, you guys saw the videos and all the drama because we show everything. And for three sleepless nights, I was thinking that I ruined this man's matching numbers motor. And what am I? I and what am I going to do? I owned Mustang Medic. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but no, he doesn't own Mustang Medic. I still do. Ten, ten, ten. We're fixing it. We're sleeving it. Um, eight and six. We're going forty over. Forty over is not an issue with a three fifty one. It's an issue. You don't go forty over on a two eighty nine. They run hot. You get the thirty over. Forget about it. Sleeve the whole thing. We're sleeving the eight and six. He's gonna have a solid engine with a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more pep, and it's going in. So we got a little bit of fine tuning we're doing. We both learned our lesson about rushing a car out to a car show. Painful, because he's in Michigan and we're in California. But now we're back and on video once again and the video series continues. We, <laughs> do you still like me, Bob? You're all right. Oh, okay. But hey, you're I'll, getting better. No, I'll take all right. In this, in this situation, I'll take all right. No, we're good. All right, thank you, Bob. So uh, so you guys are going to get to see his motor come back. He's going to be able to watch it on video and see it done in in-house. We're doing it here. We're going to, oh, darn, I get to road test it. Not really hard, but I will road test it enough to know that all these moving parts are moving in the right places because they were not moving in the right place. So this is one of those painful make goods. And I'm finding out from other make goods that I'm doing with other people most people are wrestling and kicking and screaming and don't want to make good. I do, because I'm going to do it right. That's the intention. Bob gave me a positive feedback on Better Business Bureau. Thank you, sir. And it's, it's a painful make good for both of us, but we're going to get it done right, and uh, we're both going to appreciate his beautiful baby. So I've done a lot of talking ahead in this video, three and a half minutes. So let's show the car. I don't think they want to see our faces probably. anymore. Yeah, probably. Get these two old white guys off the yeah. video. <laughs> See a little touch up? You probably can't. You, you, you're happy. All right, good. Oh, you want you want to pop the hood and see nothing? Yeah, I want to. There, there it is. There's, there's, there's nothing. But look, look how pretty that torque converter is. Yeah. And the engine compartment still clean, but you did get a little dirty on it. You only drove 300 miles in this car, really? Yeah. It's dirty in Michigan, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll even touch those up for you. You mean your scratches? <laughs> Yeah, I could touch this up with no issue. But uh, there it is. It's out. It's getting done at Tech Days right now. We're, we're, we are going so far as to even um, hot tanking it again. Because cutting is going to go on the block. You don't want to take any chances of any metal shavings floating around and causing new issues for the engine. So she's going to get cut. She's going to get uh, sleeved and hot tanked again. So we get to paint the block again and i get to put the engine back in again and i'm gonna guess you're gonna have to touch up the engine compartment again thanks for pointing that out bob there it is it's a bummer there it is but she's pretty she's gorgeous and she's gonna have a new motor in her again and this time 
she's not coming back. We're doing it inside. We're going to watch every detail. And that's why we're also getting that spray booth from RGI. We're taking it all inside, guys. And we're still looking for a convertible top um, and vinyl guy to come and work with us. Spread the word.